Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I think we are going to have a video you guys are going to like. Uh, we're opening a mystery box that I picked up on eBay. Um, it's here. Uh, I've opened it already just to make sure I got everything inside. Uh, picked it up for $150 on eBay. Uh, and we're going to jump into it and open it. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Uh, it means a lot. Helps us grow. Helps us continue videos like this. Um, but... You know we love mystery boxes on the channel, and I saw this one, I saw what the product was going to be, um, and I was like, I got to take a chance and do this. Uh, you know, I might get scammed. Obviously, there's always that chance, but you never truly know, uh, and I was like, ah, I'm going to do it. Um, you know, like I said, it's a 150 box, you know, and this is how big it is. I'll show you how big, so nothing big fits in an 11 by 7 by 5 and a half, um, but... I was like, hey, we're going to take a chance. We're going to do it. And, um, you know, seller, uh, one of the packs, one of the one of the items actually did get left out. Uh, he discovered it, sent it on to me. So I, I, I've i looked inside, so I know I didn't get scammed. I, I can tell you that. I didn't get scammed in terms of I got everything I was supposed to get. And um, he also sent it on, you know, shipped me the item that was left out, the pack that was left out. Uh, so I, I do give credit where credit's due. Um, you know, seller was very reputable and, um, you know, did, did everything where it's supposed to be done. So I, I think, you know, I, I, this is not a scam by any means. So we'll take a look, we'll open it up and I'll just show you what's in here and you'll see why, why I went for this. You know, I was like, oh, I gotta take this. I gotta take a chance on it. So give you a look in. So opening it up right off the bat, it's like, boom. Well, you know, we got we got one of these power cubes. We'll we'll open it. You know, those are just kind of eh, whatever. But we've got inside. We've got a hidden arsenal, chapter one. You know, we got hidden arsenal. We've got one of the mystery boxes with sleeves in it as well. We've got another one of the mystery boxes with sleeves in it, and then why we were really here is we've just got blister pack raging battle we've got you know secret forces so that's two we've got three king's court you know four five you know and like just everything in here is just blister pack after blister pack after blister pack of good items so i'm gonna get them all out show you what you got um and they're i mean they're stuffed in here pretty well so i'm gonna get them out real quick and then uh we'll pick back up without the box here in our way so we can look at everything so i'm gonna sort them pick back up and then we'll uh we'll see where it goes all right so here's the final rundown we got hidden arsenal we've got three of the mystery boxes like this with the sleeves and then we've got Ancient Guardians, we've got Genesis Impact, Burst of Destiny, we've got two Lightning Overdrive Blisters, we've got one King's Court, we've got two of these Fusion Enforcers, ones with the extra commons and rares, we've got two Shining Victories with the same setup, we've got four Dawn of Majesty back in the back, we got three of, or sorry, two of the Legendary Duelist, Synchro Storm, the Light Edition ones, which, eh, whatever, Secret Forces, and then Raging Battle with the extra ones in it so let's go through and uh we're just gonna do a massive opening here today uh and get into some of this stuff and have a good time and get into it because <laughs> like i said this was this is why i was like i gotta go for it like all these blister packs were just 150 was you know here we got plenty of stuff to open we got the, the boosters, the mystery boxes, you know, it's, it's just good stuff all around. I, I had to, um, and obviously we'll start with some of the stuff that's a little bit more blase, you know, not going to really add a lot to us, a lot of, a lot of, uh, value to us here. Uh, these power cubes, we'll just, we'll crank into it. This is the hands down worst mystery product you can ever get your hands on uh, when it's all said and done. This is never buy this off the shelf at Walmart. If you're, if you're thinking you want to buy something 
and you're like, man, I've got $15 to spend at Walmart on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, this is not the product to buy. You will never get Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. You'll never get Stardust Dragon. You'll never get anything shown here. This top loader that they stick in here for some reason is probably worth more than half the cards in the box. It's even scuffed up. Look at this thing. You can't even see through this. I don't know I'm gonna keep that. All right, we got a Shinbe Shinobu and Peacock is one of our rares. Sometimes they screw up there and they give you one like a rare card that like ended up being worth way more than what they thought it was gonna be. Pro from Pell Laugh Maker, Super Heavy Samurai Stealth Ninja, Wind Witch Winter Bell, and Envoy of Chaos. So there's our uh, five rare cards that we were promised. Uh, and then the rest are gonna be gonna be commons. I've already seen something funny in one of the cards that's in my hand. Let's get this plastic out of here. So just to show you like some of the junk. I do not speak Portuguese. So Portuguese cards. So like, hey, if you if you speak Portuguese and these are actually really good in Portuguese, like value, like I don't even know what, like, it's Portuguese. That's Portuguese. This is not Portuguese. But like, like I said, like, that's the risk you take on these things. Like, we're not gonna waste our time with it, but just letting you know, like, you can just go through real quick, see if you get anything in there. Um, you know, I got a couple Portuguese cards. Like, not even all the cards are not even all in English, so. Like, some of them, like if you were getting stuff that was in, like uh, Legend of Blue Eyes, like first edition Legend of Blue Eyes or Metal Raider stuff, or something from a, a, a good set in, in another language, like Portuguese Metal Raider stuff, Portuguese Legend of Blue Eyes stuff, that stuff's worth money. Like, fact of the matter, anything from those sets is worth money, so... Junk bulk is not. Do a hidden arsenal so we can get through this because these are pretty common. Collector die to add to the collection, and then Arm Dragon, the Armored Dragon, gonna be the promo. We might keep that sealed for later. Do a little fly through these. These don't have as much value outside of the the common, not the commons, the one to get some of those weird, unique, common ones in here. So let's see what we get. They're like buried here in the middle somewhere. So we got Book of Moon, which I think is actually one of the better ones there was. If I remember, we got Brionac, the Ice Barrier, and then Drag Unity, Ducks, and then we got that. And then the rest of these are all just going to be commons, allied of justice, Garda, yada, yada, yada. Book of Moon, I think, was one actually one of the best ones from back in the day. It's been a long time since Hidden Arsenal came out. All right, we got Fable Ultra, Wrath of Neos, we got Warlock of the Ice Barrier, Waboku. We got Secret Guard, Centuria Dragon, Dragonfly, Fabled Soul, Coolis, Ally of Justice. We got Miss Valley, Apex, Avian. Man, if you are a, uh, whatchamacallit, Master Duel player, Apex, Avian, right? 
You gotta love those flu cards. Harpy Lady One. Neo Flamvel Saber. Elemental Hero Neos. Naturia Mantis Flamvel Dragonov. And Drag Unity Milton. All right. Let's say we do a mystery box. Get some more sleeves. So we get the player's choice sleeves, which I'm stocked up on. Let's just get all the packs out here. So we got Judgment of the Light and Fusion Enforcers. Let's get another mystery box open. Let's just get them all open so we can get the packs all at once. Oh, we're being defeated by the plastic. Player's Choice Sleeves, and we got Judgment of the Light and Fusion Enforcers. All right, we're going to be stacked up on Fusion Enforcers at this point. Okay, the sleeves are quality. This is why, like, in, in one recent video on the Chaos Box, I told you guys I'm stacked up on sleeves. I've opened so many of these boxes, and I have so many of the sleeves, and I don't even use sleeves, like these premium sleeves. All right, what do we get? Dark Neo Storm and Soul Fusion, okay. Mixing it up a little. All right, Fusion Forcers, guaranteed secret rare pack. And it's right at the front too, if I remember. So let's, uh, let's bounce that to the back, flip it around. We got Battle Fusion, we've got Branch, Summoner Monk, we got Alistair the Invoker, and Predaplant Spinodea. Do a second one of those. See, I know my fusion forces. Oh, I forgot. I didn't do the trick right off that one. Fry for a Kraken. Miracle Fertilizer. Polymerization is always a good super rare to have. Mark of the Rose. And Grizzale Prison. See, I forgot. I forgot the trick right off of that one. Judgment of the Light. Forgot. I can't get this pack open. Uh, this one looked open at the bottom. Maybe we should make sure all these are actually Judgment of the Light cards. Umbral Horn, Star Seraph Sword, Reverse Glasses, Bunjingi Warg. We got Archfiend Eris. The atmosphere, it's the atmosphere, it really gets to us. Xyz, Agent, Black and White, Wave. Next Judgment of the Light pack. Really interesting that they open up at the bottom so easily like that. All right, Boon Jingi, Ophidian, Intercept Tomato, Shark Caesar. We got Boon Jingi, Warg. Number 102 Star Seraph Sentry as a rare, and then a non guaranteed Mecha Phantom Beast Blue Impala. That's a long, long name there. We'll put that to the side. We're going leave that one up. Black and White Wave. And then we got the Calibrator and Junk Blader. So we did get one non guaranteed Ultra thus far. We got Soul Fusion coming up. So that's one for six. We got Incantation Bookstone. We got Predaplast, Salaman Great Gift. We got Salaman Great Eagle Eagle, Emerald Eagle. We got Sum Summer Summoner. What a name. And then we got Gravekeeper Headman. We got DDD Super Doom King. And Revenge of the Normal Concentrating Current. So just a super rare in that pack. And then Dark Neo Storm. What are we gonna get? So we got Altergeist Drag Viren. We got Altergeist Haunted Rock. We've got Neo Flamvel Lady. We got Mord Schlag. Fusion Destiny as a super rare. And then Super Quantum White Lair. 
super quantal alpha nicole appeal alpha nicole appeal hand to gallop and stand in wraps us out for the mystery boxes so only one non-guaranteed uh ultra in that set let's jump into our packs of uh blisters so shining victories up first so we get shining victories plus some some bonus cards let's see what we get here toss these to the side so we get an fa shining star gt and then we get number three cicada king which is an ultra rare from battles of legend armageddon and then neotori from metal raiders kind of odd that they're they gave us an ultra rare in the and the, uh, whatchamacallit, in the, the bonus card pack. So, I don't think I've ever seen that happen. And we'll just bust open the other Shining Victories little booster, blister. Here, get that out. Oh, wow, explosion. All right, so we get Thunder Dragoon Duo, Dragon Duo, and then we get Revival Swarm as an ultra rare. They're giving us ultra rares in these ones, in these uh, packs. That's very odd. Very nice of them to do. Jack in the hand. Gotta make sure that we're not getting anything Special. I wonder how much these uh these marketed for when they were originally out. Normally, when they give you those bonus cards, you just get garbage. Cause morning, we've got Luna Light, Purple Butterfly. Okay, I'm just gonna skip right to Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Always always fun. They do like good Toon monsters though. We got Luna Light Cat Dancer. Sorry about that. Just skip right through. Bug Matrix, let you guys see some of the cards. Protector with Eyes of Blue. We don't open a lot of this stuff normally. We got Lunar Light Black Sheep, Gear, Gear Anchor, Gear Jig Anchor. It's a submarine, very apropos. Cuban, we got Amalphage Goliath as a super rare. And Lunar Light Cat Dancer, back to back. Shining Victory Packs, World Carrot Weight Champion. Bad Aim, Bug Matrix, and Dino Mist Spinos. All right, let's take a look at this Ancient Guardians blister. See what we get. Ancient Guardians, I opened up a lot of Ancient Guardians, but I forget what was in this. It's Ancient Guardians, the one that came with the snake's rain on the front of the box. I feel like it did. Offering to the Snake Deity, yep it did. Sulfur Chord Musica, we've got uh, Zoha, the Ogodotic Boundless, Ursotic Quint Charge. We got Skullmeister, we're going deep in the pack here, are we? We got Dino Wrestler Pancratops, and we got Noya, the Ogodotic Remnant. Super Rare is the last card? Wow. That's deep in the pack for a for a super rare. Get my hopes up. Normally I bury those in the middle. Ouch. Dang. Remember when you go that deep in the pack on those all uh, all rare ones? It's it's good. This is lightning overdrive. We got two lightning overdrives. Probably one of our more modern sets. Was the first thing I ever opened on the channel. Yami Amori. Springins Brothers, we got Judgment of the Branded, we got Scrap Raptor, and we've got Amazement Administrator Arlecchino, which is a non-guaranteed secret rare. So that's cool. We gotta give that one for props on the on the blisters. Hidden Spring of the Far East, Judgment of the Ice Barrier, Star Mine. Wrap us out. Non guaranteed secret. What is uh 
Arm Dragon level 10 in here. I should know, I have a Starlight of it. I've opened enough Lightning Overdrive off channel. So, I've never pulled a Starlight on video, but I have one, I've pulled one. I just don't film all my openings, which is a mistake. Right, S-Force Dog Tag, and then we got Proof of Pruffless as a super rare. Judge of the Ice Barrier, Spring Ends Booty. It's a booty. Dawn of Majesty, we got four of these coming up. Again, non-guaranteed ultras in any of these packs. Let's see if we can get get some hits. We can get one one big hit out of this mystery box. That's just Gunk and Sue Ship. Kind of, oh, I'm not even gonna try that. Dispatch Parazi. We got Gunk and Sue Ship Seaside Super Supper Supper Spot. Tendangle Drillith. Stardust Trail. We've got Chronomaly Temple, Shinobi Insect, and we got Goki. Finishing move. But I, I, I'm hoping you guys see now, like, when I saw this up on eBay, I was like, yeah, we're going. So I want you to let me know at the end of this video when you watch it and you see everything back and you're like, yeah, that was worth 150. All right, non-guaranteed, we got Gizmec Tiangle or Tani Guki, the Immobile Intellect. It's a non-guaranteed ultra rare from Dama. Try mid loading, Beast King Unleashed, and Majestic Absorption. I just say, yeah, this is this was just the amount of blisters, the you know the pulls. I mean, we've had three non-guaranteed plus yeah, three non-guaranteed, and we've had you know Book of Moon I hit in Arsenal and some bonus cards here and there. Nothing. Some some good bulk. Alien Stealth Buster, Monster Assortment, we got Glacier Aquamador, Jar of Generosity, and then we got B Trooper Sting Lancer is a non-guaranteed ultra from Donna Majesty as well. So two, two of three on Dama. Can we go three of four? I'm having flashbacks to when I opened Dawn of Majesty and couldn't pull anything. And so it's like, you buy, you get one off blisters and you just get like hit after hit after hit all of a sudden. Different Dimension Derby, Converging Wheels Dragon, Pazuzul. We got Gizmak Arakami, the Hellbringer Hog is just a super rare raw tin. And then a maze attraction Viking Vortex, branded Bond. We got Augusto Vadir wraps out Donna Majesty for us. All right, need a water break real quick. All right, let's take a look at these Synchro Storm packs. So we get two booster packs and one rare card. So these are the light editions, so we only get three cards per pack. And you're not guaranteed a rare either in them at all. I don't remember where they sold the light edition. I think they sold them at Dollar Generals. So we'll get all four of these packs out. So we got Chain Hole and White Aura Monoceros as the rares. If we got like a Baron or something out of a light edition pack, that would be fantastic. It'd be great. Pretty sure though these are notorious for being bad. Speedroid, Speedroid, 
Chevalier, Chevalier de Fleur. Maybe you are guaranteed a rare. I didn't think you were. Let's see. High Speed Roid, Noble Knight Joan, and Lyralusk Phantom Feathers. Maybe? Maybe you are. Speed Droid, Speed Lift, and Lyralusk Assembled Nightingale. Maybe you're only guaranteed a rare. You're not guaranteed anything hollow. I saw these were on there. I didn't think they were going to be worth it or anything. We had Z1, I dropped a card, and then Speed Droid Duplicate. So we didn't get anything good out of that. We weren't expecting to, so not that big of a deal. All right, Genesis Impact. You get the Altart Nightmare Unicorn. And we got Nightmare Unicorn though. That's funny. Let's think of it. Evil Twin Challenge. We got Endymion, the Majestus of Mastery. We got Sinet Regression. We got Invoked Magellanchia. We got Evil Twin Present. And Secret Password as a super rare. All right, King's Court. King's Court as a collector rare set, obviously. Didn't hold up too well with the Ultras. Nothing guaranteed though. All rares. A couple good collector rares. Was the blister did give me my first uh, collector rare I ever got, so can't hate on it. Rivalry of Warlords. We got Pendulum Transfer. We got ZW Tornado Bringer. Golden Eyes Idol. We've got the Wicked Avatar. We got Unexpected Die and Crystal Girl as a super. I guess they used to put them farther in the back. Maybe it's just been so long since we've had them so far in the back of the packs that they've been all, they used to put all the rares like in the middle. Maybe we're just so used to it now. All right, Burst of Destiny. This pack feels weird. Never opened a booster box of this, only had a blisters. Magic Key Battle, we got Abyss Keeper, Penguin Squire, we got Mimicking Man Eater Bug, Meow's Click as a super rare, Night Sword Serpent, Danger Distance Disorder, uh, sorry, Disturbance Disorder, Transonic Bird, uh, Fingly a Soldier Palm. Palm. All right, Fusion Enforcers, let's see what we get. Again, we get the packs plus some bonus cards. So go ahead and get the pack out there. Let's see what we get here. We do get an Eater of Millions, first edition card. Oh, we got a gold letter rare too? Huh. Interesting. But let's see if they screwed up anywhere along the way. I feel like we got Jack in the Hand on uh, every one of these. Dual Avatar Return, Infernity, Wildcat, and Raiders Unbreakable Mind. Let's get the other pack of Fusion Enforcers open. Pull those out. Pull the pack. Let's see what we get. All right, we got a Witch the Black Forest from Team Chaos. Did they not give us an Ultra Rare on this go? Kind of lame. And like, we didn't even get any first edition cards from Toon Chaos. Like, it's like the easiest set to get stuff from of, of the most recent one. We got like 
first edition stuff from very old packs, and then we can't even get stuff from Toon Chaos, which is borderline recent. All right, Fusion Enforcers has a secret rare at the front. Super Solar Nutrient, Predaplant Flytrap, Fluffle Owl, Refusion, and Predaplant Chimeraflesia. Fusion Enforcers, Secret Rare is at the front. Gotta tell myself every time. Because what I'll do is I'll take them out of the pack and I'll turn it right around and you won't get a, you know, the surprise if I don't remember. We got Homonucleus, the Alchemic Beam, Toy Vendor, Instant Fusion, just got banned because of Tear, and uh, Master Duel, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, and Invoked Purgatorio. I got a couple copies of that already. Secret Forces. We're down two packs, two blisters left. So we've got Quick Booster, and we got Cato Blepis, Familiar of the Evil Eye, Escape of the Unchained, and then these are the rest of our You look to see what they give you. All right, this was back when when these packs came with some stuff in them. Secret forces. What are we talking about here? We're we talking about five cards. Watch them put it right at the front. I don't remember where it is. Yolo. Necros kaleidoscope. Yep. We're just gonna take it. As it is, we got Jin Prognosticator of Rituals, Abyss Dweller, Armageddon Knight, and we got Jin Curse Enchanter of Rituals. One left, we got Raging Battle. It's been a fun video. Let me know what you think. Was this a great 150 spent or not great. We got Orcus Brass and our Gen X Oracle as two rares as our bonus card rookie for hire here. This feels more like eight cards. Let's go through these real quick so you get to see them. And now to our pack. Let's see what we get. See if we can get the pack open. Final challenge is getting the pack open. We got Minoan Centaur, Spined Gilman, Morphtronic Bind, and then we've got Koaki Meiru Power Hand and Deep Sea Diva, both not anything super fantastic. Fake Feather and Mind Trust to wrap us out. So we did have four non-guaranteed pulls. Two of them came from Dama. Dama. Lightning Overdrive did give us one, a non-guaranteed secret rare. And then Judgment of the Light gave us a non-guaranteed Ultra as well. So we got those, and then we had some good other just general pulls. A lot of this came from our guaranteed Secret Rare sets, because we did have a lot of Fusion Enforcers, Secret Forces, stuff like that. So we did have that, and then we had a lot of bonus, uh, bonus Ultra Rare cards. So we did get these in there. So giving you a quick run through and then all of our hidden arsenal stuff uh, that we ended up with. So I appreciate you guys stopping in. No, it's a bit longer of a video. And uh, let me know what you think. Goodbye, bad bye. Uh, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.